Hello, and welcome to Atlassian Demo Den. This is a monthly look into what is shipped in Jira Software Cloud by the makers of Jira. My name is Brian Lim, and I'm a product manager on Jira Software NextGen. At Atlassian, our mission is to unleash the power of every team. Typically, a team will follow a process in order to march towards product completion. Today, I'm proud to announce the launch of Workflow Transitions in NextGen. Workflow transitions enable teams to visualize and map their process into Jira. Let's jump into a demo. As you're following along with the demo, think about how you define your team's process today. Let's say I'm a scrum master of a software team. As work progresses, each task must go through a specific process before it could be marked as done. In this example, a task must go through the following steps for completion. To do, in progress, in review, and finally done. Let's see how we can map this process in Jira Software NextGen. I want to ensure all issues are peer reviewed by our quality assurance teammate. Let's take a look at how we can achieve this using our new reimagined workflow editor. I'm a project admin of this NextGen project. Only project admins are able to edit the project's workflow. One way to access the workflow editor is via the meatball menu on the board. A Jira workflow is a set of statuses and transitions that an issue moves through during its life cycle and typically represents your team's process. First, I'm going to add a status and name it in review. I'm going to quickly rearrange these statuses to accurately reflect my team's process. Next, I will create transitions to enforce my team's process. I want issues to strictly transition from statuses in this order. So I'm going to start by deleting the global transitions by clicking on each of these transitions and hitting the delete button on my keyboard. When an issue goes from to do to in progress, work has started. So I'm going to name this transition start work. When an issue goes from in progress to interview, it's in peer review. And finally, the issue is shipped to production. Since we only have one quality assurance teammate, I will add a rule to this transition to make sure my QA teammate Rogerio gets notified when an issue enters the in review status. Be sure to check out each of our five available rules in NextGen to help make your team more efficient. So I'm going to select the first one here because this is what I want when an issue moves from in progress to in review, I must assign it to Rogerio. Awesome. I now have a visual representation of my team's process via the workflow editor. Let's navigate back to the board to see how the workflow is represented on the board. The first thing you'll notice is that the newly created status creates a new column. Simply drag and drop the in review column to the second to last position to reflect our team's process. To give all users context of the workflow via the board, when an issue is ready to be transitioned to a new status, we've introduced drop zones. Drop zones are visual cues of what transitions are available for an issue. In this case, I've completed my user story. It's ready to be transitioned to in review. So I'm going to click it, pick it up and drop it into this blue drop zone. And you see the rule is applied here where Jerio is assigned to the issue. Rogerio tells me this experience is simply amazing and we're ready to ship it. As you can see, workflow transitions bring you one step closer to mapping your team's process in Jira and allow you to accurately track Jira issues as they transition from status to status. Trust me, we're just getting started with workflows in NextGen. In summary, keep these two pieces of advice in mind. Number one, keep it simple. Add the statuses and transitions you need and iterate on your process with your team. Number two, set rules to help automate and make your team's process more efficient. That's all for today. 
Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Atlassian Demodent. See you next time. <laughs>